Hi, it's Krzysztof from Rhino Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own toolbar. Sometimes uh, when you advance or if you want to uh, use your own specific toolbars or if you're using them very often, you can create one as uh, you see here on the top with a specific group of toolbars. So uh, to do it, you just need to go to tools in your um, menu and then toolbar layout. Yeah? There is an um, option to create a new file. Is it going to be file containing your own uh, tools? So I'm going to create new. Let's say it, my new bar. Yeah. And then after you click um, OK, there's going to be new toolbar appeared on your work area. So now its name is toolbar, but you can change it by going to uh, properties. And then let's say this is going to be my own tools. Okay, and you can also great, uh, change uh, the name of your group by saying my group. And then just give it okay. Yeah. All right, so you've got your bar ready uh, to um, put some uh, tools on it. To do so, you need to just get closer with your cursor to any icon on uh, any bar and then just drag and drop it but with control uh, pressed so look if you press control uh, there's two labels copy and link and when you press shift button there is move and edit label appear yeah so you need to in this case you need to uh, just create and you need to just press control button so I'm going to uh, go for the standard, my own uh, tools I'm using very often. We can create your own uh, according to your needs. Split. Yeah. Also, you can create a separator so if you want to separate uh, a specific group of tools you need, just need to make a new separator which is small line that uh, giving me information that from here there's new group of tools idea yeah? so i'm going to put there box creating and a boolean union so uh, Basically, this toolbar, uh, if you if you leave it like that, it always be uh, on a work area. You can also place it here next to the default bars, and you can always uh, get access to them by just pressing on the la la on that label. But if you want to have it back on the work area, it's here. Also, um, you can actually move uh, those, uh, rearrange those. You can just press shift and drag and drop it to the right position. Let's say I'm going to make a new separator here. I'm going to move those two on the, on the end of that uh, set. Yes, and copy here. And I'm going to copy here. Okay, if you, if you, for example, uh, close the bar and you don't know where is it, you can always uh, get access to that by pressing the right mouse button on the top uh, bar and uh, show toolbar. And if you scroll it down, there should be my own tool set. It's here. Yeah? So if you just tick it, your toolbar will go back. To Okay, so this is it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you'd like my video. If you do so, give it a thumb up. And I recommend uh, my uh, course, which is uh, placed on uh, easyrhino3d.com. So thanks for watching and good luck with your modeling.